What's going on, everybody? Mr. Lad over here. Thanks for tuning in. I'm trying something new for once. We've seen quite a few videos like this on YouTube from a few different uh, channels, but I wanted to go ahead and give give a try myself to see how I like this type of stuff as far as the actual filming. But uh, what we're doing today is we're going to be doing a wash. As you see, I'm rinsing the car down. A wash. We're going to do a clay with a synthetic clay mitt. And then we're going to machine apply a cream sealant if that makes any sense i haven't used a cream sealant in a while but what we're doing first is i'm actually using a soap i've had for some time that's pretty good it's not too bad actually um it's the chemical guys mr pink car soap and it's a ph neutral soap ph balance whatever you want to call it i've got one bucket with about four gallons of water maybe maybe three and a half gallons as you see over there got a grit guard at the bottom so you know without being over and extreme i at least have some type of safety net over there but i'm using my um platinum series synthetic wash mitt you saw me do review on not too long ago Works pretty good. You see the suds are holding up pretty good, but that's a combination of the soap as well as the mitt. I've noticed some Chanel wash mitts don't hold up like this as far as the suds, but this one seems to hold up. Um, like I said, it's my first time doing a video like this, so if I'm kind of awkward with the angles, uh, let me know, and uh, that way I know what to get better at. But just going to go ahead, and since we're working outside here and I'm not using a pressure washer, I got that weak little hose, as you see over there. It's pretty pathetic, but, you know, got to go ahead and after I wash half the car, rinse it off, and then kind of take it within that process. So this is kind of a good video to see how can I wash my car, wax my car in the sun, and still take some precautions here at a different cam camera angle, different shot over here. You know, the suds have kind of gone down. So if you're looking for a soap that has suds that last for nine and a half years, this probably isn't your soap. As you see, I'm also struggling with this hose here. But, you know, not everyone who works on the car at home has the best type of of nozzle. I mean, some people don't even have a nozzle and they're stuck with O&R and they're stuck with all these different types of products and they don't even have the luxury of water. So... You know, you work with what you got, guys. That's the beautiful thing about this field is you can get a lot done with very, very little. Um, you see, whenever I dump my mitt back into the bucket, I kind of squeeze out some of the excess dirt. A pro to that is less dirt gets back in the bucket, but a con is now also less soap goes back into the bucket. So you will have kind of, um, if you don't have a good mixture of soap and water, you will lose a little bit of lubricity throughout the process of actually um washing the car but i think the pro of squeezing out the mitt outweighs the con by far you know the objective is to introduce or reintroduce as little amount of dirt as possible so you want to go ahead and be as safe as possible but we're trucking along over here and and yeah it's pretty hot day it's south florida it's about 90 probably 95 degrees outside and uh, about 90% to 100% humidity. So, you know, it's, it's, it's really tough environments. And, and if you have, you know, if you're working in an environment like this, well, then yes, you know, you do what you got to do. But if you don't, be thankful because this it's rough over here, guys. I don't know. I've never experienced the Texas or the Arizona or New Mexico dry heat. Um, but it all sounds like torture to me. But, you know, we're just continuing. We're going along, rinsing off the car over here. And, uh, you know, I'm just enjoying myself. I'm just enjoying it. You, anytime you wash your car, you want to enjoy it. But uh, over here now, what I'm starting to do is I'm using the synthetic clay mitt. So this is the Nano Skin Medium Grade Synthetic Mitt. I got it off of Amazon for about $22, maybe $25, somewhere around the 22 to 29 mark. I don't quite remember. But I actually do like the clay mitt. It happens to work pretty well. I haven't noticed any um, out of the usual marring. Yes, it will mar your paint a little bit like most clay mitts do. Uh, but it's not an excessive amount like the Griot synthetic clay pad or whatever it is that you'll find at AutoZone or uh, Walmart or any of those. You know, This is something I ordered online from NanoSkin. And it works pretty good. Is it my favorite? No, I still think the... 
I still think the Black Fire claimant happens to be uh, much better. I think it still works a lot faster, but I am seeing good results from this. Of course, uh, I put a new, I put new water, fresh water, and fresh soap. I still use the uh, Mr. Pink from Chemical Guys in there. Just to add a little bit of lubrication and moisture to the actual clay pad or the clay mitt. And uh, one thing I like about these clay mitts and these clay towels is the microfiber backing. As you see, I'm going over with the microfiber part first. That way I introduce the actual soap or lubrication or whatever you're using. If you're using O&R, you introduce some of it with the microfiber portion of the mitt or towel. And then flip it over to the synthetic clay part. And then you're able to go ahead and, and clay there using the lubrication from the actual microfiber portion of the instrument and we're just making our way along the car one thing i will say is that if you're working on an older car like this or you know i don't see it much anymore but you know these cars with pinstripes on them these uh sticker pinstripes you know back in the day they used to paint them on but now they're all stickers and adhesives and it, it really does get in the way of your clay mitt and or your even your clay bar gets in the way of that and it kind of catches it so be mindful of that you don't want to ruin your clay especially if you got like a 20 some odd dollar clay pad clay mitt you know you buy a 30 dollar clay bar you get three to four of them you buy a 30 dollar clay mitt all you got is that one and you have to make it last as long as possible so you know be be mindful of those pinstripes they can do some damage they can do some harm uh won't ruin the whole thing but Stay away from it. I think that's just a part of good caution is to stay away from those pinstripes. And if you don't like it, if it's on your car and you don't like it, remove it. It's actually pretty easy to remove if your customer has it and you know offer it as a service. You can remove it so the car looks more um, sleek. It's more of a natural look to it. Happens to be better in my opinion. I do not like the actual pinstripe look. Um, maybe some of the the Cadillacs or the Lincolns I like them on, but for the most part, these Toyotas or any car really, they're 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 pretty tacky in my opinion. And so we just got our horrid, uh, putrid <laughs> hose over here. It's this is my this is actually a family car. My parents own this car, so I'm just kind of decided to do a little bit of upkeep on it, and uh, I wanted to go ahead and make a video out of it. But we're moving along here. I've got my sucker drawing towel from Luxury Microfiber. I like this drawing towel, but my only issue with it is that now I've had it for probably about, I don't know, probably nine months. And it's it's served me very well, but I'm starting to notice that when it is completely dry, it is not absorbing water like it used to. Uh, when I first bought the towel, it was exactly what it was called it was sucking everything up and it was just brilliant um but now we're starting to see a little bit of i don't know if the word is degradation degradation or deterioration as far as the soaking capabilities of the dry towel now everything as time goes on breaks down i've probably washed this thing 15 20 times uh at least i use chemical guys microfiber wash and so you know it's a it's a dedicated towel uh cleaner but you know i use that but i've noticed it's still deteriorated as time has gone on so it's about time for me to get a new one over here i'm just doing kind of like a little bit of an ipa wipe down do i really recommend it no uh if you can get yourself a dedicated um what am i looking for a dedicated wax and grease remover i think that will be always the preference or a panel prep some type of panel wipe down that that's always going to be your best bet is something dedicated but what i got here is i have the i, I showed you at the beginning of this portion 91 percent rubbing alcohol and what i did is i mixed it with distilled water at a two to one ratio so we're looking somewhere around the 30 anywhere from like 28 to 30 percent rubbing alcohol and uh, I've noticed it works well for me. Um, I know some people talk about how it breaks down the paint and it kind of softens up the clear coat of the paint. I personally have not noticed that, although I don't use this method all too often, so I haven't tested it out enough to really be able to make an opinion. Do I recommend it 
if you're working on a customer's car, no. But if you got a car like this, this is a 98 Camry. I mean, it, it's one of those things where how how good do you expect the paint to actually be? It's pretty bad. It's pretty horrid. So um, we do what we can. But moving on, I am using Suds Box here. It's their Illuminate, so it's like their six-month sealant as well as I am applying it with my Shine Master or Max Shine, um, I don't know, heavy duty 15 millimeter, 1000 watt um, dual action polisher. I have an Americana Global five inch finishing pad attached to it. It's like, it's one of their cheap pads. I've, a local detail supply store actually sells them. And uh, I've been able to use, and it works good in a, in a case like this. I like it for wax applications or like, you know, all in ones or one step, something simple where I'm not trying to get too in depth here, where I can just get three or four of those pads and call it a day. Well, you know, it works good in that case. I chose this pad because there is a little bit of abrasives within it. The coarseness level is um, higher than zero. It's probably about a one and a half to two. So it will do better. Maybe not of actually removing scratches. I highly doubt that because Sudsbox claims to be a pure protectant. Um, I think it's actually going to help push the sealant into the surface scratches, scratches of the paints and the valleys in the paint a little bit better than a strictly um, application pad that you would use for waxing. So this, this, in my opinion, has worked out pretty well. Um, and I happen to like it. Now, the cool thing about Suds Box here is that it is a uh, it's a six month sealant or at least it claims to be a six month sealant. It's a um, purely synthetic, although I've heard some claims that there are actually some uh, natural ingredients inside of it. I think it might be some carnauba. I'm not sure. I've I've reached out to Suds Box and they they were kind of vague in their answer, which is something I didn't like. Although I will say I really do like the product. Now, you will really see where this product exemplifies or where it uh, stands out from the crowd in the removal process. So um, I happen to like it in applying the product by machine in this application, in this situation or condition, only because when you apply it by hand and you'll actually see me do it a little bit later because I was a noob and I did not allow for myself to have enough cable or cord length for me to be able to apply all of the, or apply the suds box to all the car using the polisher, which you will see coming up just now. Um, by hand, it doesn't work out the best. It does kind of grab at you a little bit, although that's kind of cream wax. There you see I, I ran out of cord length. But cream waxes always tend to kind of, I don't know, be a little cumbersome with in hand application, whether it's a cream wax or sealant, whatever you're working with here. Um, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm applying it by hand. You can apply it by hand. It's not horrible. It's not the worst thing in the world. It just, it's not as easy, and my life isn't easiest when I'm doing it by hand, but it can be done. Um, so you're seeing here, this is where the product really stands out. And as you see, after 30 minutes of waiting, they claim, wait, 30 minutes, so that's what I did. You could probably do it less, I have done it less, but you know, 30 minutes of waiting, this product removes like a dream. Uh, I don't use paste waxes anymore. Um, I, I've kind of just gotten away from them because it's really not necessary in my opinion, um, especially with the technology that's out there. But, you know, with cream waxes and, and I, I don't really use cream waxes either. This is actually the only one that I currently own. Um, I will do some reviews on others, but this one happens to take the cake for me. Now, the price isn't the best for a pint. You're looking at $30. But it's one of those Facebook brands, um, marketing brands you see really being, excuse me, really being pushed on social media, or at least I did a while ago. I think they've gotten enough of a following now where they're not really pushing like they used to. Um, but one of the products that I always saw them pushing was Illuminate, the um, 
liquid wax and so it, it, it i i really do like it you'll see again really easy application process it really enhances the finish of the paint now when i applied it of course yes i used a polishing finishing pad but i applied it on speed sending one so it's not like i was over here you know pulling out scratches or anything like that that it's you cannot consider that paint correction i don't even know if i'd really put it much in the paint enhancement category because this I, I hardly use any abrasives i just use whatever coarseness of the pad to kind of push the product a little bit better into the cracks and crevices of the paint so maybe um that really did work in my favor here but check it out again of course you know flip the towel now i use a two towel method because um, after I apply it with the first or remove it with the first towel, um, doesn't always happen, but you know, you want to just take precautions and be mindful of the fact that you might have a little residue that's left over. So the, uh, second towel kind of prevents that. Of course, afterwards you could always go over with a quick detailer or spray wax, but here's the finished product. As you see, the car looks good. You don't really see any marring, although we're not taking much time to take a look at it. I left my polisher on the floor, which is a no-no. But guys, this is the vehicle, and this is how it came out, and this is how it looks. So hope you like this video. Thanks for tuning in, and you guys take care, all right?